Good morning, everybody. It's Brett, your thankful carnivore. It's Thursday, January 9th of the new year, 2020. And this is today's thankful carnivore report. I appreciate so much you take the time out of your day to listen to me babble about things that I find interesting regarding the carnivore way of eating and my experience. <laughs> listen, before I forget it, remember, you could get a 30-minute coaching session, carnivore coaching session, from a Dr. Sean Baker trained carnivore coach for under 20 bucks. That's 30 minutes for under 20 bucks at meetrx.com. Check out all my social media at thankful.carnivore on Instagram, on Twitter where the meat-eating savages just run wild at Stickman Bleeding. That's S-T-I-C-K-M-A-N-B-L-E-E-D-I-N. Don't add a G. Facebook, YouTube, Thankful Carnivore. This will be uploaded, linked, etc., etc., all over the place. Share it if you want to. My friends, one of the things that you've always heard me say since I've been doing, you know, started way back when at the very beginning, only eat the meat you crave and can afford. Don't eat what I eat. Don't eat what somebody else eats. Just because they're on the internet and you think it's interesting or what. Just eat the meat you crave and can afford. It's always been my message and it always will be. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're seeing this uh, nonsensical assertion that uh, if you're not eating organ meat, you're not you're not going to be healthy. If you're not eating organ meat, you're not really a carnivore. If you're not eating organ meat, nose to tail, then you're not doing it right. Blah, 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 blah. And I, it reminds me of the nonsense that we went through a few months ago when there were some people trying to push the notion that if you didn't eat grass-fed, you, you were stupid, you were cheating yourself. Oh, you're not doing it right if you don't eat grass-fed, blah, 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 blah. Humans like to sell shit. That's just the truth. And I'm not against free enterprise. You want to sell a product? Good luck to you. I wish you the best. But creating a false argument that if you're not eating liver or if you're not eating organ meats, that you're somehow deficient or that you're on the JV team is ludicrous, nonsensical, and not productive. That's what dogma is, people. That's real, live, U.S. grade A, living, breathing dogma to make those kinds of statements and assertions. And I'm all about what works. If you crave liver, if you crave brain, Eat it to your heart's content. But we know from 10, 11, 12, and 21-year veterans of this way of eating that organ meat is not required to thrive. It's not required to be healthy. It's just not required. Muscle meat will suffice and does. I, Kelly Hogan, uh, check her out on her U new YouTube channel, uh, My Zero Carb Life, 10 Year Carnivore. So tell you she didn't eat liver. I, 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 and I respect the hell out of her. I'll just be honest with you. When I was doing my first 30 days, I saw a bunch of her interviews. Number one, she sounds like she grew up in my neck of the woods, even though I grew up in West Virginia. She's a North Carolina gal. We, it's, she sounds to me like she could be kin. <laughs> and that's not, that, that is a compliment. That's not a put down. My point is, is we've got real live examples of people who've been living this way for 10 years or more. They don't eat liver. They never craved it. Dana Shute of Zero Carb Health. She doesn't eat liver. She didn't crave it. 
Now there's some long-term carnivores, they like liver. They eat it once in a while. But is it part of their regular diet? Maybe, maybe not. Again, I submit it's specific to the individual that our individual nutrition needs are specific to us. Some people will find that liver is not just delicious, but they love it and want it regularly. Enjoy. Bon appetit, man. Eat to your heart, eat until you're not another bite full. That's my thought on it. But does that make anybody who doesn't eat organ meat somehow lesser? Does that automatically put you on the JV team? Please. What a nonsensical notion. <laughs> My friends, I don't like liver. I never have. I've tried it since I've been carnivore. Even wrapped up in bacon and fried in lard, it was like putting a dead thing into my mouth. I didn't care for it. Don't like it, don't need it. Driving without it. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Show me signs of a nutrient deficiency. Show me, show me. My, my, I've got pictures of, you know, every day, constant documentation of my physical state. Show me the deficiency. Show me the evidence. There just isn't any that I can see that justifies that kind of nonsense. So don't waste time and energy on this crap, my friends. It's just humans trying to divide and conquer, create a niche for a product. But it's as far as carnivory goes and the way I was taught how to do this and what I teach, it has no value whatsoever. Eat when you're hungry. When you're hungry, eat meat till you're not another bite full. Only eat the meat you crave and can't afford. Don't put sweet taste in your mouth. Now, within that, there's room for nuance, to specific to the individual. But there's nothing in that that suggests if you don't eat organ meat, if you're not doing nose to tail, that you're on the JV team. My friends, just eat the meat you crave and can't afford. Enjoy what happens when you only consume human absorbable nutrition. Do the things you know you need to do to take care of you. Have a blessed day. Eat your meat, drink your water, and always remember, be thankful. We'll see you all tomorrow.